This is Ben with CoinEducatorCarrier.net and in this video I'm just going to briefly talk about the triggers of this type of hives and I'll also talk a little bit about what happens physiologically when you have an attack. So as I've mentioned before in another video this type of hives can occur with either active or passive heating and active heating is going to be anything where you're physically exerting yourself or you're you know you're working up your own body temperature some examples any kind of exercise so if you're running jogging weightlifting um, dancing anything like that can increase your body temperature and cause a reaction any kind of sports if you you know play baseball football basketball any any kind of wrestling any kind of sport like that you can cause a reaction to occur uh, even if you have sexual intimacy um, and even strong emotions can cause a reaction. So if you're watching a television show and you just burst out laughing all of a sudden, that can cause a reaction. Uh, you'll probably quit laughing pretty quickly if you have a reaction, but that can cause it. Uh, if you are very anxious or nervous, if uh, something catches you by surprise and you have that sort of rush of adrenaline all of a sudden, if you become really angry at something or anything like that, those things can all cause reactions. And it would happen to me often that you know, I would, you know, even laugh at something with my wife or, you know, just playing around with her laughing or something and I would have a reaction, get a little bit irritated. And uh, if you get nervous in school, like, you know, some people, you might be in a desk and a teacher calls on you and it sort of, you know, makes you anxious or nervous all of a sudden, that can increase your body temperature just, just enough to cause a reaction sometimes. You can also have this with passive heating and some examples of passive heating, if you eat spicy foods, and that is referring to you know anything from like if you eat jalapenos, if you eat uh, vinegar or anything acidic or spicy, like certain types of fruit. If it like a strawberry or a orange or something, for example, or pineapple, it has that really acidic sort of taste to it. That can cause a reaction. Again, vinegar, like vinaigrette dressing or something like that, uh, and just any kind of hot chili peppers, anything like that can cause a reaction. So you want to watch that. Not all people get that, but most people seem to report that spicy foods will cause a reaction. Entering a hot building, you know, if you just, there were times when I was in school, I would walk up, uh, just walk into a building and they would have the heat cranked up to 80 degrees or something. I don't know. And it would be the dead of winter. So I would be walking from my car and I would have to walk quite a distance and it's, absolutely ice cold outside and I would walk into a building where it's like 80 degrees and that sudden change in temperature my body just couldn't adapt and I would just be sitting there complete torture trying to scratch myself while not calling attention to myself and it was just horrible taking a hot shower can do it as well so if you have a you know you might want to take cooler showers if you're having a problem with breaking out the hives while you, while you bathe sun exposure if you walk out and I've noticed even on like a mild day, it could be 60, 65 degrees outside, but if the sun's out and just beating on your skin, you can have a reaction that way. And I'll talk about some tips on how to manage culinary care to carry in another video. But one of the things you can do also is just not wear dark clothing out in the sun because that sun will absorb into that dark clothing and heat you up even that much quicker. And any kind of hot weather in general, you know, you could be sitting in your room and if you have the thermostat cranked up, whenever you know your body becomes so hot to a point where your hypothalamus says, okay, we need to release some sweat to cool you down, that's gonna cause a reaction in you. And I'll just briefly outline the physiological process as I understand it. And this is what most research and articles that I've read seem to suggest, and it kind of makes sense, but you know, I could always be a little wrong about something, but there's a portion of your brain which is called the hypothalamus, and it controls uh, various functions in your body it controls your body temperature your hunger your thirst and so forth and what happens is when your body becomes a certain temperature your hypothalamus kind of kicks in and says okay the body's becoming a little too hot we need to cool it down and what happens is it sends the neurotransmitter down and sends signals down through all your network of sweat glands all of your body to release sweat and that's one of the main reasons of sweat is to cool your body down so when the hypothalamus kind of kicks in, it sends a signal down to all your sweat glands and the neurotransmitter goes down and when it releases at the sweat gland area, it releases acetylcholine and the sweat gland is supposed to absorb that neurotransmitter and then release sweat. That's the way it's supposed to work. Well, for some reason, and we don't exactly know why, but in some people with culinary carrier, what happens is when your body releases that neurotransmitter, when it releases, um, 
it, there's mast cells all through your skin and these mast cells contain little uh, granules of histamine and heparin and for some reason when that acetylcholine releases instead of just firing your sweat glands which is all it's supposed to do it also tends to break down the mast cells in the area and when those mast cells break down they release that histamine and that's the chemical that drives you crazy it will cause red skin it will cause the itching the hives the prickling sensation that's what really drives you crazy and so that's kind of an idea of what's going on in your body when you're having these reactions and again that can occur in passive or active heating and that's an important distinction to make because there are some other uh, like exercise induced anaphylaxis which only occurs with active heating of your body and not passive heating so that is a characteristic of cholinergic urticaria that is important to note so that's it for this video in the next video i'm going to talk a little bit about some of the causes and some of the a little bit of the research out there the next video will be a little bit technical but i'll try to make it as bearable as possible so thank you so much for watching and god bless